It was early 1998, and I noticed the old house on the hill had come up for sale. I thought it would make a great buy, a renovator's dream, so to speak, something I could restore. On inspection, the place seemed okay, a bit ramshackled and run down, but nothing I couldn't repair. It was an obvious choice to buy it at the price it was going for. But it wasn't until I had it for a while that it became clear to me that this house had something offered something a little more than I had bargained for. As I commenced my work to restore it, I started to notice odd things occurring in the house. Lights seemed to come on by themselves. Things seemed to be moved around when I was gone. On entering one particular bedroom upstairs, a very strong odour could be smelt, coming from a source I could not find. It seemed to linger, then disappear. Inside this room, a cold breeze seemed to blow, despite all the windows in the room being closed. It appeared to me that a certain presence might exist in this house. Maybe in the realms of the supernatural or paranormal, I wasn't quite sure. Regardless of what might be there, I continued my restoration work. I needed the help of a tradesman to do certain things in the house. I assigned him to, work, to do some work on the upstairs bedrooms. However, before long it became clear that the presence that seemed to inhabit this house objected to any changes to it. After a few days, this particular tradesman was convinced that the house was haunted and he was simply too shaken by the energy upstairs to continue work. He explained to me that he also noticed some strange occurrences, an unusual smell, a strange chill, electrical disturbances, the movement of objects in the house and the throwing of objects on the floor as well. He said unless things in the bedroom were rearranged back to the exact same way he had found them, then these oddities seemed to become more frequent and more violent. He refused to do any more work on the place and suggested I seek the services of a ghost whisperer. Now, it began to occur to me that if I was to complete the restoration of this house, I would need to appease whatever or whoever was still living there. Not completely against the idea that ghosts existed, I decided to take the advice that I had been given and called in the Ghost Whisperer. The Ghost Whisperer told me that her work involved communicating with the dead. She said to me that it was not uncommon that ghosts or the spirits of the dead would inhabit homes that they had a bit of a history to them. She assured me that the ghosts in these cases were not necessarily malevolent, but rather a bit uneasy about someone moving into the space they once inhabited in the days in, of their human flesh. She said she would communicate with a ghost and try to reassure it it was okay to move on. The ghost whisperer spent several hours in the upstairs bedroom behind closed doors I chose to let her conduct her work undisturbed and hoped the there would be a positive outcome for everyone. Finally, the ghost whisperer came back downstairs with a relieved smile on her face. She said to me that she was able to have a long discussion with this spirit that inhabited this house, and there was good news. She said the ghost was quite taken back by someone that could directly communicate with it and felt much more respected as a result. The ghost said it and he indeed had a connection to the house as a human, having lived there to quite an old age. The place was very dear to it, and letting go of it seemed far too traumatic. But the ghost whisperer explained to the ghost that there was a time that all spirits after living in a human body eventually moved on to a formless state, or a higher vibrational soul state, where all previous physical attachment to the earthly material world was surrendered. She said that this transformation was not something to be feared and was a natural process that occurred after the end of every physical life. She said to the ghost that the earthbound ghost state was in fact a halfway house between worlds and all ghosts in time, after reconciling their attachments to their earthly form, returned to the completely identityless, formless state sometimes referred to as heaven. Well, the ghost was quite hardened to hear this and felt a heavy weight lifting of it, having felt so unsure of its future after its earthly death. The ghost acknowledged that the years of clinging to a life that was now essentially over did seem rather futile. 
Well, it was with this realization that the, the ghost suddenly began to hear voices of its ancestors calling it to come and join them in the heavenly state. It then let out a large groan, and then with a huge flash of light, disappeared. The ghost whisperer said that the ghost had decided there and then to free itself from the earthly attachment and move on to the next phase in its evolution. The ghost whisperer told me the ghost would not continue to haunt this house any further. Well, as it turns out, that, go that ghost whisperer was in fact correct. The house wa was did finally seem completely vacated and I managed to complete the restoration work. It hardened to me to know that everything had been resolved and its former inhabitants had now left it peacefully and were happy to see to pass it on to new owners. 